well, if I put this off any longer, I'm going to continue to procrastinate, and this video goes up in about 22 hours from when I'm recording this. I'm stopping the Wednesday uploads. To put it briefly, they're causing burnout, quality's declining, it takes way too much time, and I need it for other projects, especially a long-term project that is taking a lot more than I initially anticipated. If you guys want to know more about that, it should be coming out around March, so just be on the lookout for news about that. Anyway, second thing, I actually have a new character. I know I talked about it when I made my last announcements video, and it's like, you know, uh, I do want to say, canning a series after two months, yeah, that sounds about right for me. But on screen now is a picture of my newest character, Budge. He's a bear, and, you know, it's still a work in, de work in progress design, but I'm happy with what I'm doing with it. Now, um, yeah, tomorrow's Halloween, so, well, tomorrow when I'm uploading it is Halloween, so, you know, I gotta do something spooky. So what I thought was I was actually going to read an old post I put onto r slash no sleep. Now, what I wanted to do was read the updated version that got published to my school's you know, one of my school's magazines, but unfortunately, I can't find it, and I can't find where I updated it, so, um, we're just gonna read the original. The Distortion in My Bathroom. A few months ago, I remember waking up sometime around one in the morning. I was exhausted, but I needed to use the bathroom, so I dragged myself out of bed to go. School was still in session, I had a few tests coming up, so even in my very sleepy state, the stress stuck around inside my mind. So I was thinking about it for a while after getting up. I wear glasses, but considering how dark it was, I just chose not to wear them. Before I got up, I checked my phone for notifications and set it on my bed, exiting the room. As I opened it and walked out, it felt almost like I was crawling to the bathroom. At least that was the pace I was setting. The hallway was almost twisting around me. I walked through it like it was nothing. I paid no mind. I acknowledged every single detail, though. It's almost like I was spectating inside my own body. I got to the bathroom after the short walk, despite how long it felt, and I didn't even bother to hit the light. The uh, very faint light from the moon through the window and the uh, lights that were on in the living room, despite how far away it was, would help me see where I was going. As I started to leak, it seemed like the water below me was just shifting colors, not to what was expected, but almost a blood red. It was clear enough that was blood red to me and to how black it was, and in the back of my head I heard a quiet noise. It was almost like somebody was whispering to me. It was static. My body continued what it was doing, while internally I had a panic. I looked around the room while I went to the sink, but my body refused to be startled by anything I was seeing. I quickly washed my hands, but I looked up into the mirror before going over to the door. As I looked up, I saw what could only be described as two dark pits in the center. I locked eyes and just stared. It lasted minutes, but it felt like hours as I watched what felt like a darker version of my reflection, a louder voice of static, garbly nonsense talking to me as I watched, mouth hanging open, drool sliding out and hitting the floor. Panic set into me further. I slowly started to leave. I didn't even think to look to the right, towards the living room, the kitchen, the light, as I turned left to go back to my bedroom. There was almost a pull, like actual hands of shadow tugging me back, urging me to fall into whatever was to the right and stay. But I continued to make my way back to my room, through the hallway, and the hallway that twisted around me yet again. I easily stepped inside the room and shut the door behind me before laying down. I didn't bother to touch my phone as I pulled the sheet over myself, closing my eyes. I fell asleep in less than a minute, but I can still remember hearing one slow laugh before I fell asleep that sent chills up my spine.